guys welcome to today's video so I'll be trying out the MAC face and body studio radiance uh, foundation I picked this up from MAC I ordered it it came within like three days so they were having a sale or something and this was like $30 or something so yeah so I picked it up and I wanted to give it a try so if you want to see how this foundation applies and what I think of it and all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys mm -hmm. try. I picked up this MAC Studio Radiance face and body it's a sheer foundation so I picked this up the other day and I have it in the shade C8 don't ask me why I picked it up, right? I don't know. Apply to clean, moisturized skin with a brush, sponge, or fingertips. And it's just a sheer coverage, so I guess you could, can consider this to be somewhat of a sheer tint. Yeah, I hear it. So, we're going to see. So, I've already primed my face, but because I feel, I didn't know that it said radiant on it, I'm going to, oh, I didn't put any of my, I did put some paint pot. And for whatever reason, I just feel like putting some powder in my oily places. My face is already primed. Only because it says uh, radiant. And I don't know if it's going to make me like shiny throughout the day. But, yeah. Hopefully, this is my shade. I just have my Shop Miss A brush. I was trying to figure out how I was going to put it on. This is the shade, the MAC. I ordered it directly from MAC. And this is the shade it uh, matched me to. So I'm not going to swipe it. I'm just going to pat it in. So this is not meant to give you like a lot of coverage, just I think to even out your uh, skin tone. So yeah, I think that it evened it out for me. <laughs> I don't know why I would buy foundation and I know I like full coverage. Uh, might do it. To me, it just feels like water on my skin. Um, it cover, I mean, it's not going to cover anything. Like I said, it looks like it just evened it out for me. Gave me like a even base. Since I'm using MAC, I'll stick to the program. I'll just use my NC50 Studio Fix Concealer. I'll just use that since I am sticking with the program. I had to wet my sponge. I must be like, that's it. Way too long. Let's set it. Sasha Buttercup.
Y'all know I'm going to use my CoverGirl Outlast Powder. And only because I had this open, I was using the Juvia's uh, Warrior's Place for my eyes. So I'll just use this brown shade, Kufuri, at the top, the middle shade at the top. And I'll just use that today as a bronzer, blush, all that. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Summer Brown Pencil to line my lips with it. If you're looking for an inexpensive brown lip liner, this will be it. It's really an eyeliner, but you can use it as a lip liner. And it's 99 cents. And last but not least, I'll use my Sephora Plumping Gloss in I'm gonna use since Mac is the product of the day. I just use my Mac Fixing Plus Matte Spray. Okay, guys. So this is the completed look using the Mac Face and Body, and it's just a. It just gives you a smooth base for your skin. This is good for really light days where you don't want a lot of coverage. You just want to look awake and you want to look um, radiant. I was afraid that I would look too radiant because you all know I'm oily. So that's why I put the powder down. And it's actually matte on my face now. I'll update you all in the description box and let you know if I get shiny throughout the day and how bad. And how bad I actually get oily or whatever. So yeah. This would be ideal for a summer foundation. Because you know in the summer it's hot. You really don't want a lot on your face. So I see this being really good for um, summer. Yeah. So if you enjoyed today's quick video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye guys.